Sheikh Hamdan divorces Sheikh bin Said on his 35th birthday. Earlier than to begin my humble request, all viewers, please subscribe my channel and percentage and prefer my video. Thank you. The couple's two-year marriage is over. In a beautiful 35th birthday bombshells, Sheikh Hamdan has been cruelly hit with divorce demands by means of his wife, Sheikh Hashika bin Said bin Tani Maktoum, who is calling it quits on their two-year marriage, Globe sensationally reports. In stamp with the USA booklet's outrageous document, the inheritor to the Dubai's is thrown. Wife is worrying a quick music divorce and the palace is reeling. Sheikh Hussein bin Hussein Batani Maktoum knows sufficiently dirty secrets to carry down the monarchy and he or she is indignant enough to do it. An insider explosively tells Globe. In step with the e-books is bombshell document the royal pairs is blow out erupted falling 35 year old Sheikh Hashika bin Said bin Tani Maktoum returned home from royal engagement. Sheikh Hamdan became blindsided by the news. Globe claims Globe adds that Sheikh Hashika bin Said bin Tani Maktoum previous blowouts with the royal circle of relatives had been partly to blame for the brand new breakup. The royals are convinced Sheikh Hashika bin Said bin Tani Maktoum is nuts, a supply said. She has had confrontations with Sheikh Hamdan, new wife. Sheikh Hashika bin Said bin Tani Maktoum attacked on Hamdan father and brothers. She has been preventing the complete circle of relatives the insider provides, considering that telling Sheikh Hamdan the news. Globe reports Sheikh Hashika bin Said bin Tani Maktoum is on the war path. She has threatened to show all of the royal own families' darkest secrets and techniques. Sheikh Hashika bin Desayed bin Tani Maktoum is traumatic. A uh, 2,000 million payout to hold quiet, the US ebook reviews. There are frantic talks happening behind closed doors at Dubai Palace trying to negotiate some kind of face-saving compromise. But you know, Sheikh Hashika bin Desayed bin Tani Maktoum will play Hardball, there is nothing worse than a wannabe Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum scorned, and the royals are bracing for one of the nastiest and most high priced royal bust, Usain Records. The royal circle of relatives is but to respond to Globes' claims. Sheikh Hamdan continues to rule British horse racing. Brilliant Batash tops up four in a row at York's Ebor. Meeting Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Maktoum, Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, continue to roll over British racing with an outstanding four in a row on day three of the Welcome to Yorkshire Ebor Festival on Friday, having dominated Royal Escort and Glorious Goodvert early this year. Sheikh Hamdan's horses have been absolutely flying, which is perhaps the best possible way to describe star sprinter Batash's performance to win a second successive Group 1 non Thorpe stakes at the Nevesme. Former British champion jockey Jim Crawley has played a pivotal role as an integral member of Sheikh Hamdan's crack team, which he demonstrated with a assiduous ride abroad. Batash, notwithstanding three consecutive winners earlier in the day, sent off as half prize favourite, Batash had to survive one of the toughest tests of his career when Q Amore and Paul Hannigan relentlessly chased him all the way to the line with only a length separating the pair at the finish. The mark of a true champion is never to give up and Batash did just that to give Sheikh Hamdan a full success of the day. He had to be a man today, he stuck his head down and galloped and he tried very hard, Crawley told ITC Racing. In the past he's always won the races at halfway, fair play to the second, he's really chained this horse. I would imagine the Prix de Abea Paris would be the plan. Hopefully, we won't get the same testing conditions, added Crowley, who moved to just two wins short of 2,000 career wins. He's the horse of a lifetime. I actually wore the head cam on him today, which I haven't done before. Batash has clearly emerged as one of the best sprinters in the world, having won the Scurry Stakes, Coral Charge and King George Stakes and Prix del Abea in 2017. In 2018, he won the Temple Stakes, 
a second King George Stakes then as a five-year-old in 2019. He won a second Temple Stakes and a third King George Stakes before producing the best performance of the season to take the Nonthorpe Stakes. So he does his incredible Friday. Began when Al Fatik won the opening sky bet handicap for John Gustin before Emberha landed the weather base Hamilton Lonsdale Cup Stakes. <coughs> Minzal met three from three with a brilliant run in the Albasti Equa World Dubai Gimcrack Stakes for trainer Owen Burris. The champion showed plenty of speed despite missing the break and looks another sprint star in the making for Sheikh Hamdan. It was up to Godolphin. The operation owned by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was president and prime minister of Dubai and UAE to halt the Sheikh Hamdan juggernaut when Naval Crown start beat Talid to win the British Stadium Studs EBF Connivial Maiden Stakes British Honours Championship 2020 number one Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum Batash. 1,404,265.17 pounds. Godolphin Gaith, 1,321,999.72 pounds. Number three, M. Tabar D. Smith and Mrs. John Magnier Love, 864,009 pounds. K. Abdullah Enable, 704,800 pounds. 17.66 pounds. Number five, M. Tabor D. Smith and Mrs. John Magnier Serpentine, 425,978 pounds.